All right, ladies and gentlemen, bots and cons, it's your boy, Maticus Pax Tyrannus, here with another video. Hopefully, I won't be hot micing like I was in the last one. Fortunately, I'm using my uh, cell phone camera while I make this. This is the second video, um, kind of going over the brief shelf um, layout. And as you can see, I don't really have enough room um, behind me to actually pan back all the way so you can see everything. Like it doesn't all fit and my back is pretty much against the wall in my guest room which is still very very much under construction but anyways I had the idea what I was gonna do is I'm just gonna go shelf by shelf go down rung by rung and uh, do quick descriptions of what I've got on the shelves collection wise so uh, as you can see the layouts the same as the last video so um, basically the same basic setup for the four shelves here um, but I did rearrange some of them, and it's really, really hard to position them. And, and for collectors who've been doing it for, you know, 20 years or have invested uh, a couple thousand dollars into their collections, they understand that you can't always fit the ones together that you want to. So um, I definitely have some gaps and have some filler and, and spots that I wouldn't necessarily want to put Transformers. But, um, yeah, so this this is basically... The summary of about 20 plus years of collecting, um, like I said in the last video, uh, because nothing really has changed since then, other than that Unicron figure right there is now out of the box, and we'll get into that a little bit more, because we are going to start with this shelf right here. So for those of you that are motion sick, I'm very, very sorry, but we're just going to go rung by rung, about a minute to two minutes per, possibly, depending on what I get into talking about. And just briefly discuss, sorry if the lighting is terrible, this is my guest room, I don't have um, spotlights or whatever available. We're going to start on the bottom rung down here with the power cord combiners. Now these guys are very, very strange, I don't even have all their names memorized. You can't quite see all of them back there. Um, these guys were like, kind of like a, a fad or a trend, they weren't really popular for very long except for one toy line just because they're very one dimensional. They're also very, very thin, um, and I'd say shoddy, but they took the premise of Energon Optimus Prime, who had four drones which added to him and became limbs, and they expanded on it a little bit, but also compressed it a little bit, so that way you have um, the auto-morphing, auto-transforming kind of thing. I do have five total um, power core combiners that you could combine, and I have some holdover center guys. It's like undertow and mud flap or something like that. Uh, I got bomb shock. There's, uh, I think, steam hammer. And there's one back there, the yellow one in the back corner. You can't quite see. It's ransack. Um, this one here is crankcase. I think it's ice pick. And then I got bomb shock back there. So basically, they all kind of have their own homages to uh, Generation 1 guys in some way, shape, or form. Crankcase is definitely an homage to Minasaur. Um, Steam Hammer here is kind of like a, a Constructicon Devastator inspired combiner. And then Bomb Shock back there has um, been talked about before as being very, uh, very onslaught kind of Bruticus homage there. So, anyways, I don't want to dawdle too long on this uh, part of the show just because these guys really aren't worth talking about. Uh, you can combine, um, <clears throat> excuse me, you can combine mini cons with them along with some Energon weapons if you have them to make them more interesting, but. They're, they they don't hold together very well. The limbs pop off. Their their ports are kind of strange like that. So, you know, for for long term collectors, I definitely would not recommend them at all. So let's go ahead and move on up to the next shelf. This is one of those kind of uh, grab bag kind of mixes here, and I can talk about some of the figures a little bit. Going along the back wall there, you see the um, Generation Two Laser Optimus Prime reissue, also known as a uh, RID Scourge. Uh, and in front of him is a Generation 2, like, air air missile um, scourge back there as well that they, they released in the uh, Armada line. Of course, there's the trailer for R.I.D. Scourge. Um, back along that back wall is Bonsaitron. Bonsaitron was, I want to say, Revenge of the Fallen, Reveal the Shield or something. All those lines of that time frame really merged together, but I did get the bludgeon... Um, add-on kit, the third-party add-on kit, so he's got extra swords and a new head now, so wasn't just compatible with uh, 
the actual bludgeon figure. It's compatible with all the molds, so looks kind of cool. Um, back there also is the Fallen from the Revenge of the Fallen, standing awkwardly with his pointiness and strange design. Never really liked that figure. Um, I think this dark mount right here, which how can you name a figure after a, a, a fortress? I don't understand. But um, I want to say this guy here is Cybertron Crumple Zone. Uh, not quite sure. That that whole Unicron era gets kind of foggy with me. Um, of course, that's Energon Demolisher. A lot of guys know him. Uh, he's a pretty he's a pretty good tank former. Uh, I've I've had him for a number of years, and he's um, still pretty interesting. Looks pretty impressive too. Uh, for long for the longest time, I had Dark Mount and Demolisher and a lot of my other tank guys in in actual tank mode. So. It was really impressive, but I thought I'd save some space on the shelves by putting them in robot mode, which was a good decision. Um, here we got uh, Viacon Spy Streak. Of course, everyone knows Lockdown from the movie. The only figure from that movie that I own, because all the rest of them I really just don't like. Uh, here we have Beast, Beast Machines Mirage and Beast Machines Obsidian here. Obsidian kind of a V-22 inspired sort of... Uh, Helicopter, the Mirage, of course, is a good, nice little indie car. Which, while they made him a Viacon and not an Autobot, it's kind of strange. But I don't want to, I don't want to wait too long on that because here is what some would consider to be the main event. Um, we saw Crankcase down there, aka um, the Minosaur homage. Um, I don't have all of the Decepticon combiners per se. Um, I've got Hercules, who is an ins inspired, not Devastator. I do have Piranicon. I have R.I.D. Ruination, who more or less is Bruticus. I have Transformers Prime Abominus, which is about the size of a Voyager class figure. Barely. That's being very generous. Because here he is next to Bruticus, and Bruticus is uh, towering over him. And then there's Tripreticus, which, to my knowledge, Tripreticus was the first combiner to come out after the old school add bunches of crap to make it a combiner. I think he was the first one that actually had all of his parts, all inclusive, with nothing off to the side. So, um, definitely impressive with that. Not sure how I feel about his colors or his design. He's got kind of like a German Kaiser type of helmet happening. I don't know. Um, <laughs> and then obviously I put my own spin on uh, Ruination or Bruticus, which you you can do that too. He's he's a really really versatile transformer. And honestly, on this whole entire shelf, I think he's probably my favorite because he holds together well. He's not awkwardly colored. He's not small. He's not strangely designed. I mean, a, a three a three member combiner isn't done very often, and he's not super expensive. Looking at this guy, Hercules. All right, so moving up to the second to the top shelf here. This video is already eight minutes thirty seconds long, so pretty pretty long. But um, you know, I definitely want to give uh, credit where it's due and get a chance to touch on at least a little bit of of what I've got going on here because it is a lot. So. Really quick, we've got Primus um, being dwarfed, really. Well, not dwarfed, but I mean, definitely being overshadowed by Unicron. And different people have talked about the, the different the differences in the design, and I'm, I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, of course, in front of them, um, we've got Scourge, um, Mania King, Messiah, and Cyclonus. And then there's the extra Starscream crown that I had. I've still got one star cream over there in the corner that you can see right there, mint in box. And then my uh, 25th anniversary Unicron in box over there. So um, definitely a lot happening on this shelf here. And you can tell they kind of, I move up a little bit in, uh, in awesomeness as, as we move along here. I'm going to get the, uh, let me get a ladder really quick so I can get actually eye level with the last shelf here. All these figures, all are kind of in, the, in a class of their own. Um, of course, we have Trypticon here. Uh, if you can, if you can see him, my uh, my Generation One fans will be able to recognize this right away. Is that um, he definitely has 
stickers that aren't on the original. This is a repro set that came out. And in city mode, um, the little windows here really do help his uh, his city his city mode come to life. Um, of course, this is Alpha Quintesson. I want to say he was an Energon figure. Energon, Energon, and Transformer Cybertron kind of blur together. Um, here we have Gaia Unicron, um, just above Armada Unicron here, and this figure is just really strange. I mean, his his alt modes, his design, his hands, just just a very strange figure. Uh, I ordered him uh, exclusive from Takara, so. I did what I could, trying to understand his transformations and make him look um, right. But uh, I honestly, I felt that he deserved to be in robot mode up here on the top. Uh, which leads us to our last uh, Transformer, and I get asked about this one a lot. This is a work in progress custom Transformer that a friend of mine actually, um, this, this is the base, the base part of him, um, bases and the, the flat, what you see is what you get, but he does have um, different parts that are going to be added to him later on. Uh, his name's Alpha Kaon, and Alpha Kaon is the leader of the City Destroyers. And I'm probably going to go into a separate video completely on them as a whole because uh, it's a pretty it's a pretty good story. It's a pretty good story. I mean, um, a lot of people get uh, give me crap about fan fiction and stuff like that, but but Alpha Kaon has this this whole hidden history which ties into uh, the Autobots and the Decepticons both so yeah so we, we can get into him later maybe do a, a video review once I get all of his parts in but uh, for those of you that um, fans anyways that that want something to make your collection stand out I strongly suggest commissioning a custom um, Decepticon Customs and a lot of these other companies do custom Transformers and it, you end up really really getting not just bang for your buck, but, um, you know, I mean, something to make your own because anybody can go out and buy all of the different repainted Seeker Masterpiece molds. You know, anybody can buy anything that has the word Optimus Prime on it and post it on their Optimus Prime shelf and, and brag about how many Optimus Prime figures that they have. But actually commissioning, helping design, give the ideas to a customs guy to actually have a custom made for you specifically for you from your ideas i think sets you apart i mean uh customs even i think kind of dwarf third party figures in some ways but that's just me okay so i think on the next entry on the next uh video that i do i might start from this shelf and work our way in we can save the center shelf for last because that one's going to be the most long-winded and speaking of long-winded I'm already at 13 minutes here on this video so this is your boy Maticus Pax Tyrannus and we're going to go ahead and sign this off here now and if you like the videos if you have questions about them or the figures or whatever ask me questions um, I don't mind at all I mean I've got 20 plus ex 20 plus years of experience in collecting and I've seen a lot of different um, lines of transformers come in so I could definitely give you some advice on figures or give you my personal standpoint. I'm also on Amazon as well as a, uh, a reviewer. I think I've done like 130 reviews on Amazon. So uh, chances are if there's a figure on the shelf, I've done a review on it on Amazon, unless it's like a third-party figure. So it's your boy Matt coming up on the 14-minute 14, 14 marker. I'm going to go and send it out here. This is Maticus Pax Tyrannus, and we'll see you next time.